All right, we're here in the Mayweather Boxing Club a uh, week after a disappointing night for Amir Abdallah. Not because he lost, but because, in fact, he didn't get to fight at all when he was looking for his world first world title here with his trainer, Dewey Cooper. Uh, Dewey, let's start with you, man. How, how disappointing is it as a trainer work this hard with this guy, see him put in all this work, and then at least for the time being, all for naught? Well, it's very disappointing just for Amir. As a trainer, this is what we do. We would have trained anyway, but we had an objective. We had a goal. We started three months out to really prepare for that goal and be successful for that goal. And Garrett Richards robbed us of our dream, of our goal. And uh, that's something that cannot be replaced, man. So me as a trainer, I'm okay. But I feel empty because I didn't get a chance to see Amir persevere and conquer his one moment uh, of glory that night. You had a guy, for all intents and purposes, thinking it was his last night of fighting. It was called the final chapter for a reason. Um, he was figuring if he won, he was going to be done, and now he's going to be fighting, what, six months from now, so it's not time to hang him up. How do you as a trainer keep him focused, uh, keep the drive there, keep him motivated? Well, that should be easy because our mission was not accomplished, not because of failure, not because of anything that we had control over. It was because a guy, excuse my language, was a straight up cunt. He was a straight up coward. I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm upset about it also. So we're going to refocus ourselves have a little uh, deliberation from from fighting for a few weeks, and we'll get back into camp, and he'll kick ass uh, in May. Amir, you had said it was the last fight. Uh, like we just said, it's not now. Um, when it was all said and done that evening, was there a part of you was saying, you know what, screw it, I'm done, or, or did you immediately say, all right, I guess it's uh, six more months of training? No, no, there was never a part of me that said I was totally done. You know, even with this being the last fight, in my heart, I wasn't fully convinced it was the last one, but you know, it was a good way to walk out. Um, I think I told my wife it was the last one. I told my family it was the last one. But in my heart, I, I don't know. I, I mean, you always say it's, it's the last one. You always want to go out on top, and this was a great way for me to go out on top. But no, there, there was no, never a time, especially after the unfortunate consequences that we suffered, that I say I'm done. No, not at all. I, I, I got to win a world title. That's, that's what we're here for. So now we just regroup refocus and uh, reclaim what's ours and remember a champion never halts on his goals the goal must be solidified it must be accomplished it must be finished so i know for damn sure he wasn't like forget about it we have a goal he has a goal and he will accomplish those goals i mean of course all training in is you know not for nothing i mean it helps you regardless but how hard is it for you now you know, having gone through that tough camp, the toughest camp of your life, you said, didn't get to have the fight. Now you got to start from scratch. I mean, is that something that's kind of uh, difficult for you to do? You know, I've, this has never happened to me before in my 16 uh, fights. I've never had this happen to me before. So, you know, I, I said, you know, my heart is full of faith that I know that, you know, it, it was destined not to happen. But that still doesn't mean that I wasn't emotionally a wreck after it. I mean, I'm secure enough in my manhood to say I cried. You know, we sat. The night before, two days before, when we thought there was a visa issue and we, and we had meetings for hours upon hours until the middle of the night, thinking about what game plans are going to be. We tried looking for other opponents and, you know, I mean, emotionally, yeah, it's, it's hard. You know, I, when I was at the fight, I, I told a lot of people, you know, I felt like I was at my funeral. Everybody just coming up to me and apologizing and hugging me and, you know, I'm so sorry. But it's tough, man. This is a world title fight. I mean, we've been training for so long. The training camp was three months, but my preparation for this has been ever since I laced up gloves. So. Um, you know, I say alhamdulillah, man. Thank God that everything happened this way. I don't know why it happened this way, but I'm sure that there's a higher power that, that meant for it to happen. What I got to do right now is just refocus and, uh, you know, get, stay in the gym. Um, we're, we're shooting for May. Maybe I can get a tune-up fight before then. I would love to just to have a release, just to be able to, uh, you know, be able to let all this out. So if not, May, we've got the world title. Just remember, the sign of strength, the sign of a real man is being durable. Life throws a lot of curveballs at us. Life is hard. Obstacles always appear out of out of uh, thin air, and this is all this was. Um, psychologically, I'm sure we all feel a little down. I'm sure everyone in West New York feels a little down. But we're gonna make up for it, and we're gonna make it even greater next time. And that's what we're gonna go into this camp with. Psychologically knowing that we have to be better than what we were last camp. We have to be mentally stronger than what we were last camp. And we gotta kick ass when we have the opportunity and win that world championship. And that's exactly what Amir's gonna do. Well, 
You didn't get the entire night off, though, do you? You had to do a little, uh, you got hired, uh, I guess you are a freelancer, right? What, what happened there? Uh, it was a bunch of fun. I was hanging out with Amir, uh, greeting all of the fine guests that came to the event in West New York that night, Lockport. And uh, Amir said, hey, do you want to do some... Uh, some some TV commentary. But you got paid, though, right? Oh, uh, you know, I, I I would do it. I would do anything for a mirror. And so it, it was awesome. I had fun because I'm stupid when I get the mic. I, I just say zany stuff and uh, I come up with whatever comes. So it was a bunch of fun. I was able to relax and just laugh and enjoy the uh, festivities that night. And I really had a great time doing it. Did they have the seven second delay going for you? Um, I have no idea. Tomorrow. So Dewey's, I'm going to hear it firsthand. I'm going to let Dewey see it. Let me say one thing. Gareth Richards, I know you're watching. I know you watch these tapes. Do what's right. We sent you an email. We reached out to you. Do what's right. Make this right. We want you in May. We want to fight the world champion. Make it right. All right, guys, just real quick. Uh, Dewey, what, going forward, what's the plan here, man? We're just going to, you know, we're going to focus on the positive. We're going to focus on improvement. We're going to focus on advancing everything about us. So we're going to train. We're going to be intelligent about how we've set up the camp. And uh, we're just going to get better, man. That's what life is about, constant elevation. If he won the, the uh, title on the 21st, we get back in the gym and try to elevate further anyway. So we're going to just go in with the same thing. To me, Amir's already the world champion, you know, because Richards, you punked out. You were supposed to be a champion and you punked out. So I already know who's the real world champion is. So we're going to build off of that and become even better. And then just finally for you, Amir, um, is there a reason that you actually use Dewey? We've seen Jeff and his kicks. There's really no reason for you to have to use Dewey based on what Jeff can offer you. So, so what do you think? I mean, is, do you really need Dewey at this point? Let me tell you something. The, the addition of Dewey, aside from his beautiful long hair and his good looks and his calm demeanor is the best addition that I've made to training camp thus far. But, but better kicks than Jeff? No! No one's got better kicks than Jeff. Jeff kicks like a one-legged man in the ass kicking contest. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is in! Alright guys, well... Uh, this point he couldn't get to fight in there, but of course we'll keep people up to date as the uh, details come, come to us for the fight down the road, man. Thanks a lot guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys.